Hello everyone. President Cyril Ramaphosa's son has been dragged to court by the Border Corporate of Residential Complex in which he owns a property for failing to pay his levies. Andile Ramaphosa has been taken to the Joburg High Court by Sabah's Border Corporate for failing to pay over 219,000 rands areas for the levies of his property in the leafy suburb of Edinburgh Centre. The amount has been ballooned to over 400,000 rands after accumulating interest. In the court papers, which was seen by a Sunday World publication, Sabah said Ramaphosa failed to pay the levers, plunging him into the staggering areas. In a bid to recover the areas from him, Sabah entered into a debt acknowledgement agreement with him or on about July 6 last year. In terms of the agreement, Ramaphosa agreed to liquidate the areas made of capital debt interest on overdue amounts, administration fees, legal fees and attorney's legal cost. The businessman agreed to tender the first installment of 17,000 rands on the 7th of every month until the areas were cleared. The agreement read as follows, the data shall tender the first installments in the sum of 17,000 rands on or before 7th of June 2022 plus all charges up until areas amounts owing interest, cost, collection, charge at 459 rands as per government gazette, 43,592 dated 7 August 2020 per month, disbursement legal fees for the drafting of this document in the amount of 00, 00 and various other charges have been settled. Ramaphosa, according to the agreement, had been given a period of 15 months to repay the full amount to Sabaz. However, he breached the agreement when he failed to clear the areas, leaving the border corporate with no choice but to hand him over to its lawyers. Sabah said its lawyers then sent a letter of demand to Ramaphosa in April to remit payment and clear his areas but he threw a zip sign at them. The papers read as follows, despite due and lawful demand dated 11th of April 2023, defendant has failed and or refused and or neglected to make payments in terms of the agreement. The defendant presently remains in default with the aforesaid installments together with the interest as agreed between parties in the sum of 411,311 and 88. Wherefore, the plaintiff prays for judgment against the defendant for the payment of amount of 400,000 rands. We are now moving on to Figi Limbalula, the Secretary General of the ANC. The relationship between the ANC Secretary General Figil Mbalula and spokesperson Matling Bengumotiri has bombed out acrimoniously after he accused her of dropping the ball. So serious is the fallout that Balula demoted Bengu Matsiri second in command JP Law from the Lotuli House's communication team, known as the Department of Information and Publicity. Law was removed from his position as DP's acting communications manager and is now an ordinary official. This was seen as Balula's stick to beat Bengu Matsiri as he has powers to fire her. Only the governing party's National Executive Committee can dismiss her from the position which she assumed after she was elected into the highest decision-making body structure at the organization's elective conference in December last year. Law was given his marching orders after a heated meeting on Monday which was also attended by the ANC First Deputy Secretary General Nomvula Magonyane and the party's communications, information and publicity NEC subcommittee chairperson Ngenge Gekana. It was at this meeting that Bengu Moziri was chastised for dropping the ball. A Lutuli House NEC member confirmed Mbalula's unhappiness with the performance of the communications unit led by Bengu Moziri. The source told the Sunday World that it is nothing new. People have been unhappy before. Not everyone was happy with Bule Mabi. So what is the issue now? Comrade Matlengi is new and does not have enough experience to run this thing so maybe it is too harsh to blame her and according to the publication the trigger was when Balula was in the West Rand last week and the media was nowhere to be seen Balula is said to have been piqued about this chaos in the communications team which apparently got worse when Law joined as acting manager the source said Mbalula's badly covered work in the West Rand last week was the last straw that broke the camel's back. 
The SG was in the West Rand last week and he had two rallies there, but there was no media and no DIP. And you know our SG, he loves cameras and if he does not see any, then it's a war. Unfortunately, he is stuck with Mahlengi who can only be removed by the NEC. Another ANC deep throat added that Mbalula felt that Bengu Moziru was absent at a time when she was supposed to have defended the ANC from attacks in the public domain. The insiders all shared how there were serious concerns that the ANC will be exposed going to the elections with its communications team in disarray. This is why Mokonyane is said to have long resisted attempts to regularize positions in the unit that are not part of the party's revised organogram. The insider also said Bengu Maziri was taken to task for offloading unit staffers she found when she took over the reins from Mabe nine months ago. Low is said to have been henchmen who drove away communication staffers and volunteers. Among casualties were Presidency Digital Communications Manager Ati Geleba and Gauteng Officer of the Premier Communications Official Sikoli Lengele, who were crucial in the ANC's social media communication department. Law removed them from ANC WhatsApp groups along with many others, sending the whole department into chaos. Photographer Musa Masilela was also pushed out and joined Makonyane's office while the ANC media liaison officer Amos Paco joined ship this week. The state of the disorder in the department, insiders claim, so individual national officials having to build their own teams, focusing only on them. Mbalula is get ball and JP Law has been offloaded. Check the press statements now. It is only Mahlengi and JP's name is nowhere to be found. This is according to the insider. And went on to say the SG is not happy that Mahlengi is not there to defend the ANC and journalists have complained to him directly. Further to that, there is no coherence in how the Department of Information and Publicly works and what its strategy is. As we speak, we are a few months away from elections, but I challenge you to ask them what the communications election strategy is there is none although there was a workshop but no one knows its outcomes in terms of the final document another source confirmed this by saying the unit was found and napping despite the likes of da and eff having communications teams that are highly organized and coordinated the source said all that must be done is to align structures because we are on the election mode now. The DIP is usually not about elections, but we are only a few months from the elections now and they need to get moving before the train leaves at them at the station. Figi Lembalola has said the heated meeting was no indication of fallout between him and Mahlengi and said those claiming that he was unhappy with Bengu Mozere's performance were creating a storm out of teacup. We cannot entertain people talking about ANC internal meetings. Our meetings are not a media issue and no other political party can allow that. We cannot be dragged by gossipers who are hell-bent on creating chaos in the ANC. Meetings happen daily in every workplace about various departments and there is nothing to write home about. Why must the ANC be an exception? Please Chief, do not drag us just for the sake of it. Law said it was untrue that he was removed as acting communications manager but confirmed that there were frictions within Lutuli House. On this one people, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.